Hey everybody, welcome back to Dish with Trish and I'm so excited because I have somebody special here today. He's an Emmy Award winning writer, producer, Hi. Jeff Nimoy. Hi. You have Cooking Caveman? Yeah. Dot com Cooking Caveman dot com is my uh, blog about the paleo, paleo. diet, right. Also excited to learn about. The Caveman diet and I love, you know, your little uh, caveman outfit, cave Just girl. Just for you. Oh, Just I love for it. You. Thank you. And your other blog is sameplate.com, which I'm really excited about that. You got to tell everybody about Thanks. this one. This is actually not a blog. It's a dating site. Sorry, <laughs> it's, it's a dating site. Cooking Caveman is the blog. Right, but sameplate.com came out of cookingcaveman.com. What happens was uh, I get a lot of readers on my paleo blog and they ask me questions and they said, what, what do you do when you date? Do you force your dates to eat this way? And I was yeah. like, yeah, I tie them up and you know, you know, I force feed them grass-fed steak. <laughs> and it uh, gives a whole new meaning to the word bondage. So I started sameplate.com and it's for anyone who has any kind of food allergy or restrictive diet or just weight loss diet or even just foodies who want to share a cheeseburger in the same city together, you know what I mean? That's a great Thanks. idea. Thanks. I love that idea. But the paleo diet, tell pa us more about that. The caveman diet, the paleo diet, it's just about eating real chemical free food, things that are not toxic, things you can eat raw. So I cook with anything you can eat raw. Because of your rich Greek heritage, I'm going to make you I'm going to make you a deconstructed Greek salad. I love that. This I is appreciate something it. I make all the time with uh, cucumber noodles instead of uh, lettuce or anything like that. I'm going to show you how I make noodles out of vegetables um, using this little spiruli. Spiruli. Yeah, I think spiruli is actually a name brand for a, okay. a vegetable spiral cutter. And that's what this is. Say it again, spirulina? Spiruli. Spiruli, spirulina. <laughs> I made up a whole dish of that. Um, so it's a pasta, I think. <laughs> is it? Is it? Or spirulina? is it vitamins or it something? Sounds, it sounds like it a venereal disease, I think. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't go out tonight. I got a bad case of spirulina. <laughs> now the paleo diet, mm -hmm. no dairy. Is that correct? No dairy on the paleo diet because, you know. And I see know, the feta cheese here. Well, so. if I do eat dairy, I try to keep it as organic as possible. Okay. Everything here is organic, by the way. So. This is made from sheep's milk, where the sheep only eats grass, nothing else. Well, let me show you how I make these noodles. You, you put the cucumber or a carrot or whatever you use, and you just crank it and look at all the, the noodles so that come out. Isn't it? It really is so simple. It is really easy. And whenever I eat pasta, which I don't, but, Same here, I don't really... Right, because wheat is a grain and there's no grains on the caveman diet. So whenever I do... Uh, crave pasta or a noodle, I use something like this. And, and it satisfies you. Absolutely. Look how long this is. I love that. Isn't that great? This is really cool. It's you're, so easy. You're a natural. Oh Look my at gosh, this. I'm a pro. Oh what my. are you talking about? So much better than mine. This, yeah, so much better. <laughs> I've what got some bell peppers, which I know are your favorite, right? Yes, absolutely. A little red onion. I'm always, yes. Very Greek here. A little tomato. Oh, that's that cheese. This is your favorite? It is my favorite. Yeah. Could you live without dairy if you had to? It would be very difficult. Yeah, I can imagine. So let's get some Greek spices, some olives, of course. I forgot the olives. Kalamata olives. Kalamata olives. Some uh, lemon juice, a little olive oil. This is not Greek olive oil, it's Italian oh, olive well, oil. Oh, well, let's just stop right here. Go home. <laughs> but, you know, they're very similar. How great does this look? This looks so good. I mean, it's like a real refreshing noodle salad, you know? Woo! Look at that. Very summery, refreshing. Yeah. Topic. Now, obviously, if you don't like yours this long, you can definitely chop it off. You don't want to say that too much around me. I'm Jewish. At eight days old, I had a very bad, long chopping off uh, incident that happened. But I'm just getting over it now. So oh. lucky I didn't just choke on that cucumber. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Tell me how it tastes. Cheers. Ching. Bing, bing. Ching, ching. Cookingcaveman.com, sameplate.com. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I've got a throw like spaghetti. I know, right? It's good, isn't I mean, it? I haven't had pasta in so long, I forgot how to do this. Right, and now obviously pasta is going to taste much better than this, but mm -mm. if you miss the feel of pasta, a lot of it's just tricking your mind, you know? You miss the feel of it, the texture of it. This will do the trick, wouldn't it? Hmm. It's hard to talk on camera and eat it at the same time, but mm -hmm. I don't care because it's really good. This is so good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
lower part? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Did you get in your eye, really? <laughs>